to us in this video we will see the converting the expression in standard SOP or POS form the normal given SOP or POS form we need to convert into standard SOP or standard POS form subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive link is given in the description box now we will go to the topic standard SOP and or standard POS form so in this video we will see the steps to convert SOP to standard SOP form POS form another video is available right so we will see the what is the what is the step to convert sum of product to standard sum of product form find the missing literals in each product term if any so we need to see any literal is missing so the, the all the term all the product term contain all the literals that is called a standard SOP right we, what is the standard SOP mean it's contain all the literal so first step we need to find any literal is missing in the product term and each product term having missing literals with terms form the oring in the literal and it is complement right so if any literal is missing means that should be ORD oring means it is added right so and each product term having missing literals that is this product term having any missing terms mean that should be added ORing so that either in complemented and uh, with complemented and normal form so that the original expression will not vary right so the next one expand the term expand the terms expand the terms by applying distributive law and reorder the literals in the product terms right after ordering the, the literal with complement we need to expand the term by applying the distributive law and reorder the literal in the product form now we have all the product term having all the literals reduce the expression by omitting the repeated product term if any if any re re repeated products are there mean that should be omitted right so first we need to identify any missing literal is there if any missing literal is there that should be ORD with the complement then it is applying the distributive law it is expanded if any repeated terms are there that should be avoided that should be omitted right we will see the example so that you are able to understand easily so in the example one that is converting the SOP form convert the given expression in standard SOP form so the given expression is f of a b c equal to a c plus a b plus b c right here the all the literals are not available so this is not a standard SOP form we need to convert into standard SOP form first we need to identify find the missing literals in each product term we need to find the what is the um, literals are missing in the given expression see f of a b c equal to a c plus a b plus b c these are all three product terms that are added together in this first product term a and c is available b is a and c is available and the b is missing here this is not c it is the b is missing right in the second one a and b is available right in this c is missing right in the second term third term b and c is available a is missing right so first step is need to identify the missing literal so in the first term a and c b is missing here a and b c is missing here b and c a is missing right so we need to multiply this multiply this uh, uh, missing literals in order to get the standard sop form right how to multiply that a c is available this is the original products a c a b b c are original product these are missing literals we are going to missing literal we are going to add with the complemented form right so a c here b is missing so that it is multiplied with b plus b bar right that is the adding the product of r r product b plus b bar what is the value of b plus b bar b plus b bar value is 1 so the original value will not affect a c into 1 will be a c only say right so here the missing literal b is multiplied with b plus b bar so the value of b plus b bar is 1 so it will not affect the original value similarly here c is missing so that multiplied with c plus c bar here a is missing so that it is multiplied with a and a plus a bar right so we have a c into b plus b bar a b into c plus c bar 
plus BC into A plus A bar. Now we need to expand these terms, right? So these are all the original terms. These are all the missing literals, right? So this explanation is given. And product term with the missing literals and component, right? And product, that is multiplied. We multiplied the product. Expand the term and reorder. The third step is expand and reorder, right? So this AC into B plus B bar. So while expanding what will happen? AC into B, AC into B bar. That is nothing but ABC plus AB, AB bar C. Similarly here, ABC, AB into C, AB into C bar. ABC into plus ABC bar. Here, BC into A plus A bar. So here what we have? BCA plus BCA bar. That is nothing but ABC plus A bar BC, right? So that these terms are multiplied together. So this ABC available three times. So we, we can omit the repeated terms. We can write only one time, right? The ABC available three times. So it is written only one time. The remaining term as it is. A bar BC available here. A B bar C available. Then A B C bar available, right? Now it is reduced into four terms. This A B C available three times. So it is these two terms are omitted. We can write only one time. So this is nothing but a standard SOP form. See this all the product term having all the literals A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C all are available. So that it is called a standard SOP form. Now we will go to the next example. So in the second example F of A comma B comma C equal to A plus A, B, C right two product terms are available one is A another one A, B, C. Now we need to identify what are the literals are missing. So in the first product term A only A is available B and C is missing. Here all the all the terms are available A, B and C is available. So we are we need to multiply with the missing literals right it is multiplied with B plus B bar C plus C bar right B plus B bar value is 1 C plus C bar value also 1 so the original value will not affect right. So here only A is available so that we multiply with B plus B bar and C plus C bar here all the three terms are available now we can multiply this right. First, we will multiply with A, B, C, right? A into B into C, A into B into C bar, right? Then A into B bar C, A into B bar C bar, right? All the terms are multiplied plus A, B, C, right? A, B, C, A, B, C bar, A, B bar C, A, B bar C bar, right? See this, here A, B, C available two times. So we can omit one term A, B, C, right? So other terms we can write as it is A, B, C bar plus A, B bar C plus A, B bar C bar. Now see this term, this is the SOP form, it's a standard SOP form. So there are four products terms are available. In all four product terms, all the literals are available A, B, C, A, B, either in normal form or complemented or uncomplemented form all the literals are available. So that is called a standard SOP form. Now we will go to one more example. F of A, B, C, D. We need to convert into standard SOP form. There are four parameters available here. That this A, B, C. Will, there are three product terms are available. A, B plus C bar D plus A, B bar C. There are three product terms are available. Now we need to identify what is the term missing. So in this A, B, C and D is missing. C and D is missing so that it is multiplied with C, C plus, C plus C bar, D plus D bar. Here C bar D, here A and B is missing. So it is multiplied with A plus A bar into B plus B bar. Here A, B, C, D is missing. So where it is multiplied with D plus D bar. Right. So the A, B, C is missing and D is missing. So it multiplied C, D, A and B is missing. A, B, C, D is missing. Now we need to multiply all the terms. Right. So A, B, C into D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C into D dash. A, B, C bar D. A, B, C bar D bar. Right. These terms are multiplied. Similarly here. C bar D A into B, C bar D A into B bar, C bar D A bar into B, C bar D A bar into B bar right, is multiplied. Similarly here, 
a b bar c into d a b bar c into d bar right so all the terms are available now this no there is no repeated terms all the terms we can keep as it is so this is a standard sop form right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 terms are available 10 product terms are available all the product term having all the literals all a b c d four literals are available so that it is called a standard sop form now we'll go to one more example determine the canonical form that is standard form f of x y z right so x y plus z bar into y plus x z bar right so this time is given this is not a sop form it is available in pos form so first we will multiply this we will bring into sop form then we will bring into we bring it into the uh, standard sop form right so x y plus z into y plus x z bar right now we will multiply this term first we will take x y multiply with y x y into y similarly x y into x z bar right so the xy is multiplied with y xy is multiplied with x z bar then take z bar z bar into y z bar into x z bar right this z bar is multiplied with y also multiplied with x z bar so x y y means y two times you can write only one time x y plus x y x z bar x is available two times so you can write only one time x y z bar plus y z bar plus z bar available two times so that it is x z bar right now we got this value first one two three four product terms are available x y x y z bar y z bar plus x z bar right now we need to identify what term which term is missing so in this x y z is missing so it is multiplied with z z bar here x y z all terms are available y z bar x is missing here so that x plus x bar x z bar here y is missing so that y plus y bar now we can go for the simplification we will simplify we will expand this expression so while expanding what we have x y z x y z bar x y z bar plus x y z bar x bar y z bar x y z bar x y bar z bar right so this x y z is written as it is x y z bar available four times one two three four times are available so we can write only one time then x bar y z z bar is available then x y bar z bar is available right so this time is available four times x y z bar is available one time two time three time and four time right so the repeated terms are eliminated now we got the standard sop form there are four product terms are available all prod four product term having all the literals x y z x y z is available in all the all the literals are available in all the product terms so that is called a standard sop form so in this video we discuss what is mean by standard sop form how to convert normal sop form into standard sop form we discuss the four examples also Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.